Today we're talking about the most versatile airplane of all time, capable of doing reconnaissance, delivering nuclear warheads, and everything in between. It is the only plane to literally hit the enemy with the kitchen sink and the direct forefather of the A-10 Warthog. Ladies and gentlemen, the A-1 Sky Raider. All right, here's what you need to know. This plane is the epitome of old man strength. Coming into service in 1946, well into the era of jet propelled aircraft, it still had a propeller, meaning that most people thought that it was obsolete before it ever even left the assembly line. But what those people didn't take into consideration is this wasn't just any prop engine. This was a Wright R3350 duplex cyclone engine running on 18 cylinders and cranking out 3,700 horsepower. Impressive, very nice. This enormous engine is the same engine from the B-29 Super Fortress, and they stuck it inside of an attack plane so small that it could land and take off from an aircraft carrier. This thing is the Wright Brothers equivalent of a crotch rocket. The Sky Raider is so powerful that it can carry 17,000 pounds worth of bombs, despite the fact that the plane itself only weighs 11,000 pounds. To put that into perspective, that is more ordnance than the B-17 could carry at the time. Or we could even compare it to the world heavyweight champion, the B-52, AKA Buffy the Forehead Slayer, that's world renowned for its ability to carry a bunch of bad guy to baloney mist technology on board. The buff carries about 70,000 pounds worth of ordnance, but it weighs 183,000 pounds. Okay, if you're not picking up what I'm putting down, I'm trying to tell you that the Sky Raider might be the pound for pound champion when it comes to putting warheads on foreheads. And here's the kicker with that. That's not even its whole job. It could do literally everything else. This plane was so versatile that there were over 30 different variants. It's done everything from low level reconnaissance to close air support, to electronic warfare, to even being capable of delivering nuclear warheads from a carrier. And none of that's even the scariest part of this aircraft. The scariest part is the pilots. This aircraft went into service in 1946 and stayed in service until the 1980s. I'm gonna say that again, but slower. This is a combat aircraft running on a propeller in the 1980s, earning it nicknames like the Flying Anachronism or the Super Spad, which is a reference to the biplane from World War I. If you're not picking up what I'm putting down, I'm trying to tell you, you have to be a special flavor of badass to look at all the existing aircrafts at America's disposal in the 1960s. 60s, 70s, and 80s, like the SR-71, the F-14, the F-15, the F-18, all of those were available, and they're like, nah, give me the one with the propeller, I'm gonna do this shit on hardcore mode. And boy did they. Here's the thing, this wasn't like a cargo plane or some other type of specialty plane with a very particular job. No, this was an attack plane that was going to be flying low and slow close air support in the era of jets. It's a pretty good thing that the Sky Raider has that big ass engine, because I don't think many airframes could get off the ground carrying the sheer weight of these pilots nuts. Not only did they have the courage to occupy the same airspace as these vastly superior fighter jets, they had the audacity to win anyways. During the Korean War, the enemy started referring to the Sky Raider simply as the blue one. Okay, stop. Do you know how much ass you have to whoop before an entire group of people starts associating a color with a bad time? I mean, you literally have to hit the enemy with the kitchen sink to pull that off. Yeah, yeah, they did this. In August of 1952, they ratchet strapped the kitchen sink onto a thousand pound bomb before dropping it in combat. And I'm just gonna level with you, it, it only gets more ridiculous from here. Fast forward to the Vietnam War, Sky Raiders were credited with downing MiG-17 fighter jets with their guns. They shot down vastly superior fighter jets with their machine guns in combat. A seemingly impossible task, and then they did it twice. It's not the plane. It's the pilot. And on the off chance that that wasn't ridiculous enough, in November of 1965, to commemorate the six millionth pound of ordnance dropped during the Vietnam War, the Sky Raiders would rig up a specialty toilet to drop on the enemy. You... You can't make this up. I love it so much because the Sky Raider is the A-10 Warthog's dad and this is the ultimate dad joke. It's literally trying to flush out communism. In conclusion, the Sky Raider is the ultimate underdog story. An airplane that was considered to be obsolete before it ever even left the assembly line would go on to become one of the most versatile aircrafts of all time. Pound for pound capable of delivering more warheads on more foreheads than the B-52 and so dominant in combat that it literally made the enemies fear the color blue. Oh my God, I'm rhyming. Anyways, it's also the only aircraft to literally hit the enemy with the kitchen sink and then they had to one-up themselves and flush out communism with the toilet because that shit stinks anyways thank you for watching best way to support the channel is go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com quack bang out